This is the passenger seat that's currently in the van and it's a jump seat. So you just flip it down and then you can sit on it. The problem is it's not very comfortable to sit on for a long journey. So what I've got to do is I've got to take this out, put in a permanent base and a permanently fixed passenger seat. problem as usual this is not going to go to plan but we're just going to crack on with it anyway this seat is held on with four bolts the bolts are welded on so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this handheld cordless angle grinder it's only a cheap angle grinder that I got from Lidl so I'm hoping it's going to do the job I'm going to grind down the welding spots that are holding these bolts in place so let's give that a go and hopefully this will do the trick It's the next day and as you can see I'm still hacking away at this jump seat trying to remove it. As usual everything in a van build takes twice as long and you always think all right I'll get this done today and then it usually takes a few days. So I thought I could just remove this jump seat by unbolting these bolts. There was four bolts, two on the top and two on the bottom but the problem was that the bolts were actually drilled into the bulkhead so I'll just show you how it was actually bolted in and what I've had to do to remove these bolts to get the jump seat out. Here's the jump seat and I've just removed the two bolts on the top and I've removed this bottom bolt here and the last bolt to remove is this one and what I've been doing is angle grinding them so I've just put four angle grind cuts and then with a hammer and this thing where I put all the cuts with the angle grinder I've hammered that with the hammer and use this and just break it off with this and the hammer and that's worked here I just have to finish off this one here and then what I'll do is I'll angle grind out these two bolts here that means I can remove the headrest as you can see it's now out and I've removed the bolts so now that that's out I've got to put in the base for the passenger seat that's the base I have for the passenger seat there's the jump seat. I'm gonna reupholster that and then I will put that here. So it will be folded up against the bulkhead here and then we can pop it down anytime we've got visitors. We need extra seating in the back. Now the next thing to do is to clean up this mess here. I'll then lift this rubber mat and see where exactly the base for the passenger seat is gonna be bolted into the floor of the van. We have another problem and the problem is that I've got the wrong base. I knew it was the driver's side base but I thought just give it a go and it doesn't fit because the bolts don't line up with the holes in the base of the van and I guess I should have known that but I've never fitted a passenger base in a VW Crafter before so you learn something new every day. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to return this and then try and source the correct base for the van. Two hours later. So after bringing the base back to the dismantlers and saying to them that I needed a passenger seat base, they explained to me that it's very hard unless it's a left hand side drive. So they said basically a single passenger seat is very hard to come by and that just fit it in as best you can. So that's what I'm gonna to have to do. I'm gonna fit it in bolt it to the, securely to the floor of the van. So I've got to figure a way out to do this and make sure that it's secured tightly to the base of the van. I've got to take up this, it's protecting the cable that's running, I think to the lights and stuff like that. So 
I have to remove this so I can then secure the base to the floor of the van. So I have a plan and I think this is gonna work. Because this is the driver's side base, it's not lining up. So what I'm gonna do is to make this fit, if you look down here, you've got this bracket on this side, but that should be on the opposite side, as I said, okay. That should be on the opposite side and it should, ex it should be going into this hole here because it'll come out from the side and then we can drill it into that hole. And then this one in the back should be on this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to angle grind off this side here and then I will get a bracket. I'm going to bolt the bracket onto the base and the back here and then that will line up and I'll be able to line it up into this screw hole here. I'll just show you what I'm talking about. If you take the top off this, that's where the bolt screws in. I'm going to angle grind this off so then that means that then this can push in against the side. Then I need this to be on the other side. So what I'll do on this side is I will also get a bracket bolted into the side here and then bolt it into the ground. So then that means, then look, I can stick that bolt in there. That means then that I will have these two and the back bolted directly into the chassis of the van and I won't have to drill any holes for that. I won't have to drill any additional holes. Fingers crossed that once I have these two lined up at the back that it will then mean that these two in the front will line up. After I removed the plastic trunk in there that was protecting this cable, there was two like screws popping up and they were stopping the base from actually resting on the floor of the van. So just, I, I nipped them off and now the base will actually rest level on the floor. So this is the bracket and what I've done is, as you can see, it's, it's a really nice thick bracket. I think it's about five mil. So that's going nowhere. I had originally bought brackets for this and then I discovered these ones. So I'm glad I actually discovered these because these are way better. They're solid. So what I did was I used an M8 bolt, a washer on either side and a locking nut in the back. Now I'm ready to secure everything in place. I'm ready to secure the base to the floor of the van and then secure the seat to the base. But before that, I'm gonna show you exactly how I've actually modified the driver's seat and I will also show you how I'm going to fit the seat onto the base because the seat is a bit too wide. I bolted on the bracket to the back here with an, an M8 bolt and washers on either side and a lock nut. I've let that a bit loose and the reason for that is when I bolt this to the floor of the van I will then finally tighten this bolt and that's because there might be a bit of play and I need that to be loose. The other side. Again, I've used an M8 bolt and a washer on either side with a lock nut. I will finally tighten that once I have this bolted to the floor of the van. And then the two front ones are here and here. They line up perfectly because I've already lined up the two back ones here. What I'm using for them is M10 bolts with a washer. And that's for the front two and then for the back two we've got one here and one here that are already pre-drilled into the van and then we've got one here and one here at the back and what i'm actually going to do before i secure anything is with a bit of wd-40 because it's just going to make it easier when you're putting them in when you take off these stickers first and 
I don't know if you can see that. No, you can't really see it. But anyway, when you take off these stickers, like a lump of plastic in that hole, and that's to stop the air coming up through the van. So what you've got to do is get yourself a small screwdriver and just stick it down through the hole and pop out that piece of plastic. It's just like a piece of glue or something. And uh, then you're good to go. That's not the one we need. So that's how I'm going to secure the base in place. And then once that's secured in place, I'll use these for the bed frame. And I'm also going to use them now for the passenger seat to secure it in place. So that's the back. I've cut them to length. I think they were like 520 mil. And what I've done is, so I've drilled a hole here and that will go directly down through the base, secure that in place. And also here, and that will go down through the base and secure it in place. And then I've drilled a hole on the outer edge. And I've done the same with the front. So drill the hole on this edge and on the outer edge and then on the very edge. So this is where the, the seat is actually gonna run along. It's gonna lay here. So I'll be bolting directly through the seat into this side and then this side. Then I'll be bolting this directly into this side and this side and then the runner on the far side will be bolted into this edge here. And I had to drill out on the seat for that. So I'll just show you. So it was already there. I just had to make it bigger so it'll fit an M10 bolt. And that was on either side. So this one on this side will go in here and secure directly to the base of the van. And the one on the opposite side will secure through there because the width of that is wider than the width of the base. What I originally wanted to do was to, to even this out and then have to have a runner on either side. Then I thought you're better off having the seat actually secured into the base on one side. That overhang is only about 30, 40 mil because it's only around 30 mil. There's very little weight going to be on this side. So I decided to actually secure it to one side and then the other side, let that overhang completely instead of letting the two sides overhang. I think this way it'll be more stable and definitely more secure because it's going to be actually bolted into the base on one side and then the other side that it's hanging over slightly. It'll be bolted into these rails on the back and the front. That's enough waffle. I'm now going to crack on with it and secure all this to the van. Passenger seat is now fully installed. I bolted it to the floor of the van and then I bolted the seat to the base. So it's going nowhere. The last and final thing to do is to cut the flooring to fit around the seat. So let's cut the flooring and fit it around the base and then we're all good to go. So that's the end of this episode. I now have the passenger seat installed into the van, which means that we now have two proper seats in the van. The seat I went for was a VW Golf Mark V passenger seat. And I must say it's really, really comfortable. So at a later date, I might actually consider swapping out the driver's seat for a similar seat because it's really, really comfortable. 
So I hope this helps you with your own van build and gives you some ideas on how to install a passenger seat into your VW Crafter or also if you have a Sprinter, they're very, very similar. If you enjoyed the video and you found it helpful, please do give it a thumbs up. Also, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. That means that you can follow along with the van build and the journey yet to come. And if you want to be the first to be notified for future videos in the van build, click the notification bell up there somewhere and that means you'll be the first to be notified for future videos when I release them on this channel. So again, thanks a million for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Good luck. Look how comfortable that is. Oh my God, that's perfect. Isn't it? Yeah. That is amazing. Isn't it? Yeah. Oh my God, it's lovely. Yeah. So we really nice. That? Yeah, delighted. What's nice. it, what's, what can I put in there? You put like a... Uh, what would you be putting in there now? Sweets, bears of chocolate. You know sweets? Some dates. Some dates. Some nice healthy dates. Nice healthy dates. Yeah. I'm very happy that Ashley likes to see it. And yes. it's very important because if she's got a sore arse, I've got a sore head from listening to her giving out. Yeah. So. The, the last seat, you couldn't have gone anywhere like more than an hour in it and you would have been broke up. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think, Ash? I'm delighted. And then that gives us an extra seat inside the van. Yeah. So when we have guests coming in, we can pull down the old chair for them to sit down. All right, so, so that's it. We'll see you on the next one. Good luck.